Hi guys, so this video is about uh, my universal rack that I built uh, with a UHI 24R from Soundcraft. Love that uh, digital console. Um, I built it a little overkill for doing weddings because I like to connect my MC8000 to it, my mixer, because uh, I always like to have an external mixer. Now, I don't need a big digital one, uh, but this rack uh, kind of has a little bit of everything you guys will see in a minute, uh, where it has an amplifier, microphone, and all that. And the reason why I wanted to put such a big mixer um, is that if somebody shows up uh, with a guitar and wants to sing or a small band last minute or it's in the plans, uh, that the bride and groom want to add a band or uh, a solo or duo, uh, you have a professional board to do it with. Uh, I prefer a digital because then you have more control over it versus the analog I used to work with. Uh, usually you only have about uh, three or four pots that you can adjust your EQ with versus this digital has a whole entire um, what you would expect in a professional board. Uh, gates and, and compressors to, to a full graphic EQ, um, which could be very, very useful, even though you're just operating a microphone for speeches. Uh, what I use this rack for is uh, mainly for DJ work, but I also use it for what I get called in to do a small band in a bar uh, or something similar where uh, I could just take this, use the amplifiers for monitors on it instead of the main PA. Uh, the wireless microphone is already integrated and now I have a full 24 channel uh, digital board. Usually in a bar you don't have room to put a big digital console uh, to, or have an FOH. Um, so an iPad base uh, digital mixer I believe is the way to go for most of these gigs. So here's a, here's a little bit of footage of me explaining uh, what I have in the rack and um, what you guys think. And just comment down below what you guys think and uh, enjoy. So this is my uh, universal rack that I call. Um, <clears throat> this I use when I used to DJ at weddings. Uh, but also can use for um, bar gigs or small bands and stuff. So I'd have my um, Denon MCX 8000, I'll put it right next to it. I'll have that next to it. Uh, and then I use this, which obviously is overkill for a wedding. I don't need 24 channels. Um, but I run my speakers off this amp. I know it's a Behringer amp, but it's a pretty solid one. It's light. I like it. I just run my two ZLX off of it. Um, and then we have a Furman as well, just for power conditioning, as well as a wireless microphone, which I would like to have eventually get a second one in here. Um, they're just really hard to get right now. Um, and then it just so happens that the shelf fits perfectly with like an inch to spare maybe three quarters of an inch to spare um to my main digital mixer which this in this case is a soundcraft ui24 uh which is amazing i love these things i have the ui16 as well uh which is in a different video which is in that box over there uh we'll make a different video on that um I have this little power bar here. I kind of use it as a switch just for my DJ lights when I'm lazy. If not, it's just to charge my laptop or ever, something like that. I don't put my laptop on this. I usually put the iPad on it when I'm DJing, but if I'm doing a bar gig, I usually use it either, again, for a laptop or something uh, if I just want to wire it uh, as a backup for controlling the UI because you can control it with more than just an iPad. You can use a laptop. Um, 
Now, the one microphone down here is already wired in channel one, so it's always programmed on that. And these are coming from uh, going to my amplifier uh, out in the back, right here, going down to the amp. Um, now, obviously, I have everything. Um, I also have this ethernet that's plugged into it's been disconnected but it's usually connected right here and then I connect my uh, very own uh, wireless router and the reason I didn't put it in this rack permanently is because uh, if this box is on stage on a bar gig and I'm all the way in the back I'll tend to put the router on a tripod up high so that uh, I can get better reception out of it so it's not just sitting in here so i have a little more versatility on getting some range so comment down below what you guys think of uh of my rack that i built a few years ago uh i've been using it just like it for i'd say about three years four years and i am not even looking back like I said, I'd add a second microphone since I can, uh, but uh, it's a very universal little setup for small bar, bar gigs when you can't fit a full console, like an M32 or something like that. You can't really have an FOH and or uh, weddings. I mean, yes, there's a lot of channels, but um, you know, you're ready to receive, like if somebody shows up with a guitar and wants to sing, uh, or drum set or something like that. Again, having a band or a small band um, or solo artists at a wedding, you always have some last minute stuff. Um, so, yeah. So, again, let me know what you guys think. Um, and uh, if there's any other videos you'd like for us to talk about, uh, again, I'd like to make another video on the rack over here. Uh, for the ceremony kit, which I also use for small bar gigs as well, is similar to this, but a little more uh, in depth for wireless con connectivity. All right, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Subscribe, and I'll try to post more videos uh, as soon as I can. All right, take care.